What's up guys? I'm Travis and you're watching Upgraded RC. Welcome back everyone. Now you're watching the second part of the video where I installed the Spectrum Smart 130 amp brushless ESC and 1900 kV brushless motor. It was a combo. I bought the ESC and the motor together. Now this is part two where we're going to go ahead and discuss the programming and get that ESC programmed with our smart programmer here from Spectrum. Now guys, almost every ESC out there is programmable. Whether you're pushing a button on it and listening to the beeps or watching the lights light up to tell you which mode you're in, or maybe you just plug it into your laptop and program it from there. Anyway, almost every ESC out there is programmable in one way or another form. Now, no ESC out there except for the Spectrum Firma has its own programmable box. That's right, this is plug and play, guys. You just plug a link right into the ESC and into this box here, and boom. You've got all these different settings. You can set parameters however you want to. You can review them, you can adjust them, and you can save them. Now this also has a little port on the side here where you can just plug your battery in to see what kind of voltage you're running to. So it's kind of neat, and it's really easy to do. The big thing about this is, guys, you don't need any computer or anything. You can do it right out in the field. So. On my last video in part number one, when I installed the ESC, I went ahead and put a Y adapter on there because where you plug this programmer into is where the fan plugs into. So you unplug the wires for your fan, plug in a Y adapter, then you can plug your fan back in, and on the other end of the Y adapter, I've got it kind of just tucked up underneath here. I can pull it out pretty easily so that I can plug the link in or the cable for this and then we can go ahead and program it in the field with no computer or anything needed, guys. That's what makes this so great. Okay, so here is our Spectrum Firma and Avion Smart ESC Programmer. If you notice on front here, it says version 2. Well, let's go ahead and flip this over here. Okay, so there's nothing on the back of the box, but if we flip it up on the end, we can finally see the part number here. It is SPMXCA200. The Smart Avion and Firma ESC Programmer is a tool to set up parameters and make updates to the Spectrum Smart speed controllers. Now, with the Spectrum speed controller, you can review settings, you can adjust settings, and you can save Smart ESC parameters. You can also connect this to a PC or a laptop via USB, and then you can download your Smart ESC firmware updates. You can adjust parameters via the Spectrum Smart Link the PC app. Um, you can also check your LiPo battery. You can see what the cell balance is and what your voltage is on this by just plugging the battery into the side of it. It's got a port over there for it. And then it also shows you your specifications here as far as the weight and your size and then what's included, which is your ESC programmer instructions. You do get one USB cable to connect to your laptop and you do get the ESC cable which connects to the ESC and this programmer box. All right, let's go ahead and open it up here and see what we got inside. All right, I knew they'd have another one on the bottom here. Couldn't be that easy. Oh, there it is. Nice, guys. So we got our programmer here. What else did they give us? There is our cord. There's the USB to the EC, I believe, or USB to this programmer. And here is the link that goes from our ESC to this programmer. They also gave us some instructions here. What, no stickers, guys? Huh. All right, guys, so if you look on the side of this programmer here, there's the symbol and it says USB. 
So that's where you plug the USB cable in at and then up to your laptop to be able to download updates into this programmer right here. This says ESC on it. That's where we plug our cable in and go to the ESC so we can do all of our programming. And this one right here says battery. Now this is not for the battery checker I was telling you about. This is to be able to power this up another way for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, when you hook it up to your car, the LiPo powers it. I think when you hook it up to your computer, the USB should power it. So I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but it is to power this up some way. Now to check your battery, this is on the other side. It says right here, battery checker. And I'm assuming depending on how many cells you have, you plug it into the correct one and it'll show you what's going on. All right, so let's go ahead and get this plugged in and fired up so we can figure out what's going on and do some programming. Now guys, right here, I've got the other end of my Y adapter harness is coming out right here. I left it just kind of free floating in here and I tuck it back in when I'm not using it. But this is where you're going to plug in your link or your cable here that's gonna to go to your programmer. So you plug that end in there and then you go ahead and plug this end in here, right here where it says ESC, just like that. Now you'll notice it's not coming on yet. Why? Because you've gotta go ahead and turn your car on. You've gotta have a fully charged battery in your car and you've got to go ahead and turn it on. I would also recommend turning your remote on just so your car can't take off on you while you're doing this. So watch this, as soon as I turn this on here, look at that, it lights up and it's gonna give us our version and everything, it says Horizon on it, version two. Now, let's go ahead and do some programming here, guys, and see what our options are. All right, guys, I went ahead and zoomed in here so you could kind of see what was going on. Now, if you'll notice, we have four buttons on the face of this programmer here. Button number one says select, number two is edit, number three is reset, and number four says save. And right now, our screen is reading Horizon version two, and I don't know what this PB and the rest of the stuff here means. But let's go ahead and hit select. When you hit select, look, it says connecting to ESC, and it shows us our software version. Now we're in our first option, which is running mode. And what we can do is we can just go ahead and hit edit here to go through all the different modes. So right now it's set up for forward, reverse, and brake. See that asterisk right there, guys? I want you to notice that wherever you see an asterisk, that is the stock or the default setting that this programmer was in when you first got it. So you always know wherever the asterisk is, that's what the stock setting is. So it makes it's easy to make changes so you know where you're at. Let's go ahead and go through this here. We've got forward and reverse is number three. See, there's no asterisks there. And then we have forward and break. And then we have forward, reverse, and break. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that alone because I do want the forward and reverse and break. Let's see what number two is, drag break. Oh, look, 0%. Guys, when I was running this the first time, I noticed that if I just let off the throttle, and I'm used to my bomber having 50 or 100% drag break, it would normally stop. On this one, it just kept going. This is why right here. Let's go ahead and see what we can set this to. 5, 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I guess that's it. Okay, so there's the asterisk you can see set to zero. We're gonna go ahead and set our drag brake guys to about, let's set it to 40 right now. We can always change it later. It's not a big deal. This is so easy to change stuff. Hit save, it saves our data. Now we'll go to our next option. Number three, voltage pro, I'm not sure what this is, guys, if this is voltage protocol or what this is. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it alone. And then we've got our punch level. Here you go. It's set to level number four. Now, guys, this is how aggressive your motor is, how fast it jumps off the start. So we're gonna go ahead and let's see what we got here. We got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess it only goes to nine. So our stock punch level for default, there's the asterisk, is four. Let's take this to six and see how it does. Like I said, we can always change this later. Hit save. Now, what's our next one? Number five, braking force. It's set for 75%. What can we do here? We can go to 100. We can disable it. We can go to 25, 50, 75, which is where the asterisk is. That's default. Let's go to 100%. I think the brake should be at 100%. Let's save that. Now, where are we going here? Reverse force. 
Now, I did notice that the first time I was driving this as well, when I tried to hit reverse, it wasn't very responsive at all. This is why, so I've only got 25% here, guys. What can we do? We got 50, 75, 100, or back to 25. So we're gonna go ahead and set our reverse force for 75 here, and we'll save that. Next, number seven, we've got initial brake. Um, it's showing that our initial brake right now is set up as the drag brake. That is what we've got. What can we do? We can go to 0%, 20%, 40% or drag brake. Okay, I'm not exactly sure I understand 100% here, but we're gonna leave it alone for now. Our neutral range, I'm not exactly sure what that is either, but it's set to 9%. We'll go ahead and leave that alone. Timing, 15 degrees timing, and our asterisk is set here for 15 degrees. Let's see what we got. We can go to 18.75, 22.5, 26.25, zero degrees, and then it starts going back up. Now, if you get lost and you're trying to figure out where was it, oh, there's the asterisk, 15 degrees. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and leave that alone. Number 11 here, motor rotation. You can change the motor rotation. Right now it's set up for counterclockwise. You can also go clockwise if you need to change that for something. We'll go ahead and leave that alone. Number 12, lipo cells, auto calculate. I believe what this is gonna do here, guys, if we go to select it, yeah, it is. Okay, so here you're selecting 2S, 3S, 4S, or auto calculate. I think I'll leave it on auto calculate. That way if I decide to change it, it'll just auto calculate it and it'll be great for me. And that's it. And then we have restore defaults. So that takes us back to the settings, back to the beginning. That's it, guys. That was great. I think that's going to help us out a lot. It's so nice to be able to do this right here in the field with no computer or anything. Guys, that definitely makes it pretty easy for programming. There is no other ESC out there that has a programmer for it like Spectrum Smart ESCs do. I think that's pretty cool. They're probably gonna set a new trend here. I would say over the next year or two, you'll probably see all kinds of people coming up with their own programmers for ESCs. This is just way too handy and nobody can compete with that. Now, as far as the motor and ESC go, I haven't had enough time running this to honestly give you guys my real opinion of what I think of it. Obviously going from a brush setup to brushless is gonna be different. I've got a lot of adjustments that I need to do here. And, and like I said, this programmer here, guys, is just to kind of set up the ESC, just kind of get it rough, kind of the way you want it. And then all your fine tuning is done right here with your radio. This is how you fine tune it all and get it dialed in exactly the way you want it. Well guys, I think that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. I can't see being able to program an ESC any easier way. I mean, even hooking up to your laptop, you're, you're gonna take that out in the field and do it, now you got this big laptop there. This thing works great. It's effortless. Um, it doesn't even have any batteries in it. It uses your batteries. So I mean, this is probably gonna last a long time. Anyway guys, if you have any questions or anything, as always, please don't hesitate. Ask me, comment down below. I promise I will get back with you. It may not be right away, but I promise you I will. I wanted this to be a little bit of a shorter video for you guys so that maybe you already have the ESC and motor in here. That was part one. In part two, you could just strictly go and check out what I have to say about this programmer. Well, that's it, guys. I am Travis. You're watching Upgraded RC. Until next time, peace out.